before we get started, um, I just wanted to say that this is not real. This is just a story. It's just the troll pasta. So, if you see this Hogwarts picture, that doesn't mean that it's a uh, Harry Potter fan fiction. But you'll see this picture in a Harry Potter fan fiction sometime. So, so before we get started this video, it's a disclaimer. This is a fan-made story. This is not real. This is fake. This is this is just a story, guys. This is not real. It's something that I made up and I really want to put it on the internet. So, So this is just a story, guys, because I just I just want you to know that. So, so yeah, um, let's begin the story. I always loved the one and only Harry Potter. You know, the lightning, the boy with the lightning bolt. Also, also known as the boy who lived. Which he survives the, the evil bad guy, Lord Voldemort. Because he's obviously the reason why his parents have died. James Potter and Lily Potter. I think that's I think that's her last name. And I still remember every character. Harry Potter, Hermione, and Ron, Draco Malfoy, Hagrid, Dumbledore, Burbumble. I think that's her name. I th I think that's her name. Professor Snape and so much more. But then, let me tell you the real story. But I have a cast on my chest. And I'll tell you what happened. This is how it happened. I was working at a Pennsylvania... I was working at a hotel in Georgia. Yes, it's a real state. I had fun with my job, but not a, not a cup. It's not a good a cup of tea. So yeah. And then one guy came up. He was dressed up like. He was dressed up like um. Wait, what was it again? Looks like he's dressed up like, um. I think I think he was dressed up like Crash Bandicoot or something. Um Sorry, let me guess for a moment. All right, now we're back to the story. I saw a guy dressed up as the Kool-Aid man. And then on his hands in his pocket, I see a DVD. Which it says, Harry Potter Lost. Which I thought it was the recent Harry Potter book. Called, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. So I thought about that. So I asked, so I asked that guy in the, dressed up as a Kool-Aid man. I asked him for the DVD and he said no. Which is pretty obvious because it's his. So, I gave him a, I gave him a, I rent him a hotel room, and then he walked away. For some reason, he left his DVD there. So, maybe I thought it was the perfect opportunity to check out this DVD. So, it was the end of the day, so I hope the Kool-Aid guy dressed up as a, a man dressed up as a Kool-Aid man. So I stole a DVD and I went home. What an idiot I am. I was, I mean. So I put her on my DVD player. Yes, I still have one. I could have used a Blu-ray player, but my Blu-ray player was already disconnected since I moved into a new house. Yeah, I did move into a new house. So I put the DVD in, and then it played. 
But then it starts off with the Harry Potter logo. It fades in. But instead of the normal opening like the other Harry Potter movies, I just saw an extremely large zoomed in picture of the Harry Potter logo. It was scowling. And the O's, the circles in the logos, like the P and the O, it has eyeballs. Is this a alien movie? I thought. And then a loud voice came out of it. And it yelled, This is Harry Potter! Where we can view magic and go to Hogwarts! Woo! But then... But then I heard it, but I, and then it went, Bleh! as if it, as if it vomit. So then, so then the real movie begins. We're going on Halloween. We're going on a great Halloween special tonight. Go the way Lockhart said. So two, so two things popped in my head. One, was this really a Halloween movie? And then two, how come Gilroy Lockhart came back after his memory loss? And I was like, but I didn't care. I mean, I mean, I was wondering why Gilderoy Lockhart came back after the, after his memory loss, but I didn't care. But I didn't care. So, then Harry said, I wonder, I wonder who's going to dress up. And Ron said, Oh, really? You you wanna... You're gonna take my Jiffy and then and then shove the green beans in his mouth. What the heck? I said. And then Ron continued, Books can't tangle. They don't do it! And they did bang, 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 bang. And then, a loud, and then a loud noise came on. A loud noise dropped upstairs. So I paused the movie and then I went to go check it out. But it was just my bowling ball that fell down. I don't know why I have a bowling ball, but... I don't know why the, that I have a bowling ball, but don't ask. So, I went to play the movie. And then Vernon Dursley came on the screen and he said, For my next debt, I'm going to shove the skateboard on my fucking butt. Oh, he cursed. And shoving the skateboard up is, you know what? That's inappropriate for a kid's movie. And guess what? He literally shoved the skateboard up his butt. <sighs> he yelled, And next up, I'm gonna vomit blood. And then he vomited blood and, and there was red meat again. Well, this is the only time that red meat appeared. Daddy needs his meat. I was starting to think that this was a real Halloween episode. And maybe, and maybe they thought, or maybe they were just eating, eating some good meat. Well, let alone a Halloween episode. The next part scared the crap out of me. And I mean for real. Man. Like, this is pretty stupid. This was. I'm surprised that... That the brown stuff didn't come of my... You know what. We see Mr. Filch. And instead of talking in his normal voice. Which I didn't mind. I mean... I mean you know, well, we see, we see, and then we see Mr. Filch, and instead of talking in his normal voice, he had a voice of a black man. Didn't, I didn't mean to be racist or anything. And then he talked like, the, and then he talked like the member of the gang. Listen up, motherfucker, said Filch. I want to cook some chicken, some fried chicken, and turn them into creepy bastards. Let him suck my. Dick. What 
was with the cursing, I thought. So then he took Mrs. Norris, his cat. She's the one that alarms students who's roaming around the school. She, he, he just, he just put her in, he just put Mrs. Norris in a, in a bucket. And then he throws the bucket into the fire. And then he gets it, and, he, and then he gets the bucket out within like two seconds. As if he's Sonic the Hedgehog. And then, just like that, Mrs. Norris turns into chicken. I don't know how it would be possible. But. So then. So then Mr. Phillips grabs some, grabs some MLG glasses and he puts it on his face. He puts the MLG glasses on. He grabs a golden jacket and he puts it on as well. And then he grabs the gold money chain on him. And then and and then and then the crappy beat plays. You are Mr. Filch, I'm here to tell y'all as a McDonald's a subway and Taco Bell, y'all, as y'all motherfuckers are 99 cents. As a big comic saying, the scream bloody murder to my fans. As has been the book. Well, Master Bane, the family guy. The, the, the griffin from the show is a super skeleton. I'm Mr. Bones, and I'll wait a turn. $96 to my dick. You was in a rat in a tick. It says the rhino, fuck you. I'm Mr. Filch, and it's not and the ring is in, and the ring is in, the ring is in, the ring is in, the ring is in the grill. Well, that was certainly weird. I've never seen Mr. Filch with it. So, I, I had no idea that Mr. Filch was a rapper. And then Draco, and then Draco Malfoy came in screaming, Oh my god! And there, and on his, and then on his clothes were the blood from Vernon Dursley from earlier. For my next stat, I will scream bloody murder and grind through the tech. Does anyone remember the show, The Tech? I was weirded off at this point because Draco and Malfoy are supposed to be enemies to Harry Potter, right? Well, I think this is pretty much like one of the weirdest Harry Potter bullcrap that I've ever seen in my life. Then Professor Dumbledore came on screen and then he said, Like, like... Like, like Mr. Filch, he d he didn't have a normal voice either. Though instead of a black man, he he had a he had a voice of an angry German man. So, what he said was really caught me. What really caught me off guard. What do you get to make sure they put this movie by putting this movie on the DVD? Wait, you mean this movie? This movie? Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. And then the Sorthing Hat said, which he also popped out of nowhere, he said, Introducing the new guest of Hogwarts. Which, he's gonna be, the, he's not gonna be in Hufflepuff, Slytherin, and, uh, I can't remember, and Gryffindor. And this guest is the Kool-Aid Man. And then the Kool-Aid man walk into Hogwarts. Wait, it is him. Heck, he looks like him, except more sinister. And then the ending, Jesus. Let me tell you. It's like one it's one it's like the most disturbing one yet. It's not easy being the chosen one. Harry Potter sat out of nowhere, and he grabs a knife that looks similar to the one from the previous Harry Potter movies. And then the screen faded to black as he was right about to cut himself. And I can hear like a cut sound. And I can hear Harry screaming. So as that happened, and the, and what popped up on the screen was a was a, was a demon version of the Kool-Aid man popped up on the screen. He said, Happy Halloween, wizard fuckers. The last shot was Harry Potter shooting himself with a gun. And then the DVD ended. I was starting to think 
that why would Warner Brothers do this? I mean, what I mean, what was this crap? The final movie of Harry Potter? This is this is how they would end Harry Potter? I mean, what the heck? I I heard knock on the door. So I went to open it. Oh, I wish I had it. It was the Kool-Aid man. Remember earlier, the, the guy dressed up as a Kool-Aid man. He came in. So he looked demonic, just like in the DVD. So I went to go, so I went to go to the phone. So I tried to call the police. So, so I ran into the other room. And I went to go, and I tried to go, when I tried to go dial 911. But Kool-Aid Man said, No way to get to the phone, you're now, a, you're now a wizard. You know, Kool-Aid Man is right. I am a wizard. But then, Kool-Aid Man grabbed the knife, and he stabbed me in the heart. And then I blacked out. When I woke up, I was in the hospital. The doctors were lucky to save my, to, to recover my heart. They shook me. So, I woke up and the Kool-Aid man was gone. I'm assumed that he went to jail. The doctor said, don't worry. We got, we, we recovered your heart. So you should be fine. It looks like you got lucky, mister. You're gonna be okay. Oh, and the guy who killed you? We we already took him to jail. I mean, the police took them to jail. So, you're, it looks like you're gonna be just fine. And I said, okay. Although, you have to be in a wheelchair to recover. And I said, okay, that's fine. And then, on my chest was a cast on my chest of the stab wound. When I remember blacked out, that the Kool-Aid man gave me, a, gave me a freaky smile. But that smile will burn in my mind. And then... And then, so, if, so, it's been three months since the incident, and then, so it's been three months since the incident, so, yeah, so, this is my warning, if you work somewhere, and if you see someone dressing up as a mascot, whether it's Ronald McDonald or Sonic or Mario, or they have a or they have a lost DVD of whatever kind of series or show or movie that you like, that says with the movie title that says "Lost" on there, do not do not on any certain any circumstances watch it. Otherwise, you're gonna end up like me. So please, just. Just don't, just don't take the DVD away from them. Just let them have it. And if you do take it, don't even watch that movie. Just like what happened to me when I watched that Harry Potter one. So don't even do it. Just, just let them keep it. So this is my warning. And goodbye. I could, and now can you excuse me? I have to I have to continue on with my life.